think about it maybe already for the last 12 months um this is maybe one of the most anticipated recessions a lot of people are expecting a recession as the federal reserve is rapidly increasing interest rates and at some point most people believe including us it must have a more negative impact on the u.s economy as well as the labor market but when we actually look at uh, uh, at measures uh, for layoffs that is really counting all the layoffs across the economy we actually still not we're still not really seeing a, a clear increase in layoffs so for example in this chart was showing the initial claims for unemployment insurance um, this data comes out every week it, it, it it's normally a very good early indicator if companies are pulling back on hiring starting to lay off people mm -hmm. um, but if when you look at this chart, it has been relatively flat uh, since early 2022. If you really look carefully, maybe there's a small increase over the last two or three months, but it could also be that this just is the data, um, some volatility, and it starts going to be flat going forward. Uh, there are no clear signs yet of a clear, inc clear increase here. Also, if you look, for example, at the job openings and turnover survey, there's an also small increase in the layoff rate, but still, if you compare it to how it was before the pandemic, we're not really seeing um, layoffs really taking off. Of course, we have some pockets of weakness, especially in the tech sector. In finance, we also mm -hmm. see that there is some slowing. But if I just, if we think about the chart that Celtic was just presenting, job growth currently is still pretty strong. Uh, so that still means that most employers are still thinking about hiring and less about laying off people.